Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com This is Let Me Bore You to Sleep Live I'm just readjusting a few little bits and bobs Hello Andre, are you on a cuddle? Oh. Just bear with me a couple of seconds. I've just got to give my boy a cuddle. So, it is midnight. It's actually probably four, four minutes past midnight because. Blood, what are you doing? What are you doing? He wants something, but I don't know what he wants. I don't think he knows what he wants. He wants to get down. Okay. He doesn't want to get down, he wants to get up again. What do you want? Oh, you want to sniff my groin? Well, that's very weird. He's, I've got a very weird son here. I don't know. So, my name's Jason Newland. This is Let Me Bore You to Sleep. Only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes because it's a very very boring it's gonna be very boring and um, basically I mean it's a twofold a twofold uh, reason for me doing this live recording and you can listen to this by going to my website jasonnewland.com every evening midnight UK time and I'm gonna be live online mm. he's my little boy Till three o'clock, so three hours, midnight till three a.m. UK time, and just just keep coming back to my website, jasonnewland.com or www.jasonnewland.com, and you will find me here talking. I will sometimes be talking to people. I will sometimes just be talking to myself probably mostly talking to myself however and this is what I think is quite exciting in a way is I'm gonna figure out ways I know it sounds a bit silly considering we've got the internet and social networks and stuff I want to find out ways where you can communicate with me where I haven't got a traipse all around the different uh, websites in order to collect those messages. So I'm not 100% sure the best way to do that. But um, I'm on f I'm on Facebook. So if you'd like to leave a message on my Facebook page. You're welcome to is facebook.com forward slash Jason Newland hypnosis. So facebook.com forward slash Jason Newland hypnosis, all one word. That's my Facebook page. It's open to anyone, you don't have to be a friend in order to, um, or do you? I will change that. I think you can anyone can post but let me just have a look and check the settings to make sure timeline and tagging who can post on your timeline I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make it available for friends who can see what I would post on your timeline everyone allow post sharing to stories on on Hide comments containing certain words from your timeline. So I've done that so that it's to stop swear words. Who can post, see posts that you're tagged in on your timeline? I might as well just put everyone. When you're tagged in a post, do you want to add to the audience of the post if they can't already see it? I don't understand that. Review posts that you're tagged in before the post appears on your timeline. Okay. So I'm just setting up a few little changes and yeah, so you should be able to privacy, activity, 
who can see future posts, public, uh, limit the audience you post should, limit past posts, who can send you friend requests, everyone, who can see your friends list, public, and who can look up using email, everyone, who can look up using your phone number, right, so you should be able to leave a message, or post a, a comment, if you can't, then I'll try and, let's have a look, public posts, who can follow me, public, public posts, who can comment on your public posts, the public, so everyone can, uh, public post notification, yeah, so that's good, public, yeah, so that's all good, get notifications from the public, who can like or comment, so that's the public, that's public, yeah, so that's all good, uh, so yeah, Facebook forward slash or facebook.com forward slash Jason Newland hypnosis. That's you can leave comments there. Uh, you also can leave comments on my Twitter, which I will open up here, which is Twitter. Mm, 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 mm. Twitter, 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 Twitter is my page. What's my page called? Twitter.com forward slash Jason Newland. So again, you can just leave a comment or whatever you want. Contact me on there. And I will read out your comments and your messages whilst we are live. And uh, that's it. I do intend to try to get Skype integrated, but it seems the only way to do that at present is on the laptop. And I do not use the laptop in order to broadcast because the laptop is not good enough quality to broadcast anything. So I use the phone to broadcast using a microphone and everything like that. And I don't see a way to connect Skype. Uh, I've looked at it and I can't see a way to connect Skype in there. There may be a way. But you can still Skype me or you can call me on Facebook and talk to me if you want just to say hi and you'll be heard. I'll basically, the microphone is near my head and if I can hear you, then the microphone should be able to hear you. So you can call me on Facebook, you can call me on Twitter, you can call me on, um, have I got Skype up? Yeah, let's forget, we don't need Skype, do we? We've all got Facebook or Twitter accounts, haven't we? So yeah, you can call me on Facebook or Twitter. I won't bother with Skype. Unless, of course, Skype is better for you. In which case, just let me know. So, I'm just gonna go to my website and check that it's working. So it is, it's basically, if you go to the website, jason, www.jasonnewland.com, go down a little bit and it says, let me bore you to sleep, radio show live here daily, 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. UK time. And then underneath that, just press the play button, it says live, live now, let me bore you to sleep. Click on the play button, this is what you were here. Who are you? And that's dandy. An advert, probably, right at the beginning. I'll just click that off, so. And then you'll be able to listen to me on there. And you can listen to, you know, on the phone. And depending on, you know, how it goes, I might end up getting an app, which then you can just, you know, have the app 
and just click on that rather than go to the website. So we'll see. Uh, underneath that, you've also got a playlist of all my latest uh, recordings as well. So that's it. So I'll come out of Spreaker. Um, yeah, I'll come out of there. So I've got that. So I've got my Facebook up, my Twitter up. So what I need to do, what I need to do is get the get the link. Oh, it's just never ending. It's just constant. All the different little things I have to do to to keep this rolling and rocking and. Okay, so if I get copy the link live now, so I'm streaming live now. I'm just going to post that on Facebook. Da 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 da. And then I'll just uh, let me bore you to sleep. Yes, live, live. And then, what's that? What if there's a particular website that you prefer to listen on? Then maybe let me know, and I can. Perhaps uh, open that up as well if I'm on there, and you can post comments on there as well. And Andre's now biting my lower leg for some reason. I think he wants to go out again, and he's been out twice. So I don't think he's in the position to start telling me what he wants to do. He makes me angry. There, so that's it. I put it on Twitter. I put we'll put it on Google Plus, but apparently Google Plus isn't uh, isn't quite itself at the moment. It's running. It's uh, gonna. Apparently, Google Plus is closing in April. I think. Which is uh, interesting. Interesting. So let me see. Let's see if anyone actually joins me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to eat a Cadbury's cream egg. And I realise that might not be the most exciting thing you've ever heard. But for me, it's pretty, pretty good. Because my little treat oh some of the stuff that I read on Twitter so I've got this Twitter thing um, apparently Conor McGregor had a, a carnival float dedicated to him in Malta which is it's got him on top of a not a pixie what do they call them the not gremlins the not harlequins mannequins i don't know but he's he's on top and he's got this big green uh like a a beer I don't know, beer, a glass, you know, a, a glass, a beer, a glass of beer, a beer of glass. Um, so that's my first boring bit of information for the night. Let's see what else I got. Thing is, on Twitter, I follow my interest. I do follow a lot of the politicians. Because... 
I like to be I like to be socially aware to a degree you know but without getting too too caught up in the the stuff you know that people come out with that's why I'm just eating it Uh, I don't even know what this is University Fox at University underscore Fox genius comes in many forms and these clever students proved that with their unconventional wit can prove that with their unconventional wit here are some of the funny examples yet and it's got Oh, it's got a hat on the front of it, on the top of it. Game of loans. Interest is coming. But then on the left-hand side, is this picture either side of that picture. With... All I can say is... Young ladies. Pictures that were particularly... I, th- I think the word is clickbait. <laughs> I think that's the word where you um, God, that bait that used to be what was there used to be another word bait, didn't there? Is it prison bait? I forget. I'm going to click on it anyway. Let's see where it takes me. University Fox. Wow. I'm gonna have to to get my own website and just specifically for this show and start posting stuff that I see on there. Mmm, yum yum. Mmm. Andre's now uh, kissing his girlfriend. Mm. So what is my... Oh, I don't know. So basically, the thing is, when I do the live shows, I get so distracted. Oh, come on in, Andre, if you want to cuddle. I get so distracted by waiting for interactions from other people that I end up just not talking. I realised then I was eating the chocolate. Cadbury's cream egg. What do you want, Andre? What do you want? You want a bit of the chocolate cream egg? You only have a little bit. It's not really part of your diet. Hey, don't you dare bite me. I know it's not part of my diet either. But you should know better. (laughs) What? Go away. Go away. Right. So I didn't do much today. I spent a lot of time in bed. Which is kind of normal lately don't want to be doing that anymore 
Oh, excuse me, a bit of gas. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, another burp. It's lovely for radio. This is my radio show, kind of. I'm calling it my radio show. And Spreaker is kind of like a radio show, like a radio broadcast, podcast, radio, you know, slash whatever. But it's been quite a good day today. It's it's weird, isn't it? I didn't I didn't post anything on Yeah, I didn't post any um podcasts today. Or well, one this morning. Yeah, I suppose I did. Let me boy to sleep. I posted what was it? 105. I posted that this morning. And that's at 66 downloads. On there, but other other places had downloads as well. But all in all, I've had 158 downloads of my of these. Let me bore you to sleep today or yesterday, I suppose now, because it's 24 minutes past the hour. I was wondering what deep sleep. I wonder how many stats. What's the stats on that one? Okay, right. So I didn't. I haven't made one since the third. But yesterday I had three hundred and forty-four downloads off of that podcast. Two thirty-eight the day before. Three thirty. Three twenty-four the day before that. 233, 265, 233, 331. So I actually had more downloads yesterday than I've ever had. Wow. Well, not ever had, but that I've had recently in the last uh, 30 days. And I didn't even post one. That's interesting. That's weird, isn't it? So the one I posted on the 3rd, I got 175 downloads. The one I posted on the 2nd of March, I have had 203 downloads. And then I didn't post anyone. The last one I posted before that was the 28th of uh, February, which is 265 downloads. There's one... Yeah, I've had a couple where I've had a lot of, um, sort of the first of the six, 2000 and no, the six of the first, 2019, so six of January, I had 596 downloads. So I think that's the, the largest download of any of them. So that might be worth checking out. It might be a good one. Well, I've got no idea. Oh yeah, also the first one was 702 downloads which was the very first deep sleep whisper which was the 21st of the 11th 2018 but it wasn't it was further back than that that's the date i uploaded it uh 20th of december that's at 470 download so that was quite popular as well so it might be worth checking out that's number 13 and 16th of December no this the 2nd of January uh, number 16 deep sleep whisper it's had 446 downloads so there's been a few that have had quite you know it's not millions is it but uh, number 52 so that's the 19th of February this year, 386 downloads. So that might be a sign of some of the ones that people have listened to again and again, possibly come back to the some that were quite popular. I don't know. It's hard to know, really. It's hard to know. So who's going to listen when I'm live? 
Who's gonna listen to me today? To me today. Oh, there's a. What's this one? I'm not on learning for work. All right, I'm just having a look. I've got quite a few. It's a bit embarrassing actually because I'm boxing news. I'm on boxing news. It's a, this is a, a Twitter, and they were given the boxing results, and they were given the boxing results wrong. Now that's really boring for anyone that doesn't like boxing. Lennoxism, this is Lennox Lewis. Be mindful that truthfulness can sometimes be mistaken as hurtfulness. It's all in the delivery. That's Lennox Lewis. Yep, I agree with that one. Wow. What is going on there? All right, I'm just done a look. Lionel Richie has just posted "Love Your Love Your Shirt" to Katy Perry. But the the yeah the she's wearing a t-shirt with Lionel Richie on the front. I'd like her t-shirt regardless of what was on the front. I think. But uh, yeah, I think if she had a picture of me, it means that she might like me, and if she liked me, I wouldn't be sitting here doing this. I'd be making a cups of tea and stuff. I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe not. I do like Katy Perry. I like her facial expressions when she makes videos. I quite like that. I quite like facial expressions. That might seem strange, but not the strangest thing in the world, really. I'm just having a look. So, what are people posting on Facebook? Let's have a look. Which movie character fits you 100%? Obviously it's Robert De Niro, isn't it? Okay, just have a look. I try to um, get rid of all posts that were just shared posts. You know, the, the ones that are just just pointless um, and I spent probably about four hours doing that at the weekend and it's like that's a lot of time to waste doing that you know what I noticed after I got rid of so many of those messages and those games and those those kinds of things I end up with more posts of people talking about Trump and uh, there's a lot of um, people writing I don't think it's they're trying to give themselves self esteem or trying to send uh, veiled messages to people in their life there's quite a lot of that on Facebook as I'm sure we're all aware you know, but wow. I just just see things and I'm like what on earth is going on there? So there's nothing on Facebook worth anything repeating, so I won't. So where's a good place to find? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go on Google. And 
I'm going to put in good news. See what comes up. Good news network. Yeah, why not? So it's the goodnewsnetwork.org. So let's see what's what's on here. I mean, it's not all about needing to be positive all the time, but you know, it's definitely better than being negative. It's got to be, isn't it? You know what I mean? Just generally, just like, come on. Have a little bit of... Uh... These specially trained dogs are protecting both humans and bears thanks to the natural fearlessness. Andre would be good. He's very fearless. He's also tiny. Oh, look at this. There's a principal who reads books online in her PJs so her students can always have a bedtime story. Oh. It's, uh, what other ones? Oh, just I'm reading it. I really should read them out loud, but... I kind of feel that I should read them first before I read them out loud, just in case it's a bit... Well, I explain why. Um, there's someone on Facebook that, when he comes, when I'm online and leaves messages, I go to read them and then I realise I have to read them before I read them out loud, because he likes to swear and stuff like that. So that's why I need to be careful and I'm kind of used to just uh, watching what I say. I'm not, I'm not really a swearer. I do swear. I'm not a prude. Um, but when I go for it, I really go for it. I don't mess around, you know. Um, but not really. Don't see the point. I'm trying to trying oh look what's this oh dear oh dear it's I can't believe some of the things that people post and some of the games that people play online which is just awful absolutely disgusting wow uh, the headline for this one is awesome, finally creative wind and gaming in industry. It's, it's just, yeah. It's wrong. It's the wrong gong. Bong. Judith Verifal. Okay. Right, Facebook, nothing on there. So good news vibe rather than hiding treasures in a trophy room NBA legend is selling selling it all uh, selling it all for underprivileged kids Fifth graders launched their own kindness club at school and bullied kids are already benefiting. 20, 20 years after divorce, a woman gives her ex-husband a kidney. It wasn't even a decision. Well, it was a decision, wasn't it? They didn't just come and take your kidney. They asked you first. You know, there are protocols involved can't imagine that I don't think even one of my ex-girlfriends would do that imagine 20 years I don't think I've ever had a girlfriend that would have given me her kidney while I was with her no I I always find it's a bit of a strange one. I know I know someone. Well, I don't know him really anymore, but I used to know him. And 
he was had a girlfriend. I think he might have married her. I'm not sure. But he needed a kidney, and she gave him one of his kidneys, one of her kidneys. And you know he's now alive and well and everything. But he can never leave her, can he? This is, he can't ever leave her, not really. And hopefully he'll never want to and they're happy forever and ever, but he can never leave her. He can't, you know, he just, he can't leave a little letter saying, yeah, thanks for the kidney, bye. It's, Keep the CDs. I just, I, yeah, you know. But then I don't suppose you think about that kind of stuff at the time. So there's a picture of a a lady, unborn baby treated for spinal defect after being removed from mother's womb for surgery, then put back. Wow. So she got to give birth twice, kind of. Well, look at this, another one. Scientists have developed new material that is as flexible as elastic, but tougher still. Ah. Andre's eating and sneezing. He always sneezes. I think it's probably because he's pushing his face into the food and his nose is probably rubbing against the dust of the food because he's eating dry food now because he's eating all his wet food up. So it's kind of causing him to probably breathe in the dust and he's sneezing. Might use that about 20 seconds of time. So Parkinson's research is now have $24 million to keep going thanks to funding from Michael J. Fox. Good, cool. Um, it says here, when grocery store accidentally leaves doors unlocked, honest customer leaves $5 for tomatoes. So again, I don't want to be negative, but the chances of that happening, you know, if that if that was around here, if the supermarket left, it, I'd get a knock on my door saying, "Hey, supermarket's open for free." We can all, <laughs> honestly, the whole the whole estate, probably half of my town, would probably be in there with supermarket trolleys loading up the back of their cars with free stuff. But you know, not me, of course, because being morally superior. Um, <laughs> anonymous police officer leaves pregnant waitress hysterical with joy when he leaves one hundred dollar tip. I mean, yeah, a hundred dollars. That's what. 50 pounds for you know 60 pounds or 40 pounds well, that's a less a generous tip hysterical mm, I don't know if I'd use that word hysterical seems a bit I think I'd be hysterical with joy maybe if I'd won the lottery one, you know, hundred million or and I wasn't even hysterical with joy when I got my first blowjob, you know, so I'm not I can't imagine a hundred dollar tip would do it for me. Perhaps I'm just uh did I say blow blowy <laughs> my first blowy you know it was adequate Officer becomes hero to neighbourhood kids after sitting down to play with girls who were afraid of cops. Wow. 
that's that's a that's a story in itself, isn't it? It's more than one story there. Powerlifter hailed as Hulk hero after he lifts Jeep off of injured driver trapped underneath. I kind of knew where the story was going right at the beginning. The first, as soon as I heard Powerlifter, and then the held as hero, who has obviously done something heroic, and um, they called him a Hulk. I suppose that's because he's a body, you know, very muscular. Could have called him Popeye. Hey, he's an animal, look. How acupuncture may ease symptoms of menopause. That's cool, isn't it? I wonder if it's got a search here. Let's see if they've got any stuff about hypnosis. That might be interesting. What's this say? New Harvard study says that men can avoid heart problems by doing a certain amount of push-ups. Push-ups are good. I used to do lots of push-ups when I was younger. Um, the thing is, that kind of exercise, I think some people think it's just it's just about the muscles and just about you know your shoulders and your back and your chest and your arms. But it's not. It's any physical exercise, even if it's just lifting weights. Once you once you go over the threshold of comfort your heart starts pumping and you start you know it's also cardiovascular as well it's not of course it's not saying it's the same as running up a mountain but it's it's still cardiovascular uh, exercise that's what I'm saying trust me I'm a doctor 344 so statistics for the day 1,179 downloads today or yesterday and 24 on demand plays yesterday or Sunday 1,048 downloads I'm obsessed with downloads, and I. It's ridiculous. Why am I so obsessed with them all the time? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's just going. It's just really silly. I don't know why. Do you know why? I don't know why. So look. I don't know why. I I I don't know why. I don't know why. That's a good idea, Andre. You want you put your food onto the paper where you poo. That's it. You're such a clever little girl. Oh. None of these stories make me want to click. Let's have a look, see if there's anything on hypnosis. Let me search. There might be, you never know. It is possible. Come on, let's have a look. Power of hypnosis can change lives. Wow, that's a, could you get more vague than that? You know what? Taking vitamins, might be good for you. Oh, well, thanks. You know, learning to swim might be useful one day if you ever need to listen. If you ever need to swim. Oh, okay, yeah, good. Oh, there's very little for hypnosis here. Oh, there's another. There is something here. How to quit worrying for good and the power of the placebo effect. 
uh, a face massage to ease stress. Let's just check, I wanna check that first one up. Let's have a look. Let's. Oh, let's. Mm. Let's just check that one out and see what's happening. I'm gonna be so excited. I'm so excited. 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 Oh yeah, oh ah ah eh eh, oh ah ah ah, oh ah oh ah ah. So I'll stop. So how to quit worrying, and this is goop.com. It wants me to sign up, no, no, I'm signing up. How to quit worrying for good and the power of the placebo effect. Stress along with feeling anxious and or overwhelmed is an inevitable feeling we all experience. How we deal with it though is not, according to Dr. Martin Rossman, board certified physician, author and founder of the healing mind. Rossman studies the ways our minds and bodies are intertwined and how mastering the way we process stress can optimize both our mental and physical health. Here he talks to us about becoming aware of what our bodies are trying to communicate to us and explains how, by managing our thoughts, particularly stress-induced thoughts, we can take control of our lives. Yeah, I'm in agreement so far. So a question with Martin Rossman, MD. Um, this is the question. What's the crux of the mind-body connection? So the answer is, uh, uh, out the core of the phenomenon is the belief that the brain is the central operating system of the body and that the mind is very much intertwined with the brain. It's not too far off to say that the brain is the hardware and the mind is the software that gathers and processes input from the body, sending out signals that directs its activities. Although the body can't always do what the brain and mind Asked it to. Let's say asked it, ask it to. It always tries. Question Is there a scientific evidence validating the mind body connection and is it related to the placebo effect? Answer People are often surprised when I say that there is actually more research done on mind, body, healing than on any other medical intervention. Thousands of studies have been done in the last 50 years on the relaxation response, mindfulness, meditation, hypnosis, and guided imagery. Every drug study compares the effectiveness of the drug to the effect one's positive expectation has on symptom relief and healing. We call this the placebo effect. Let's read that again. Every drug study compares the first. Okay. Andre's really wanting my attention at the moment. He's out to make as much noise as he can. That's not part of this, the story, the article. Right, I'm back. Many people think placebo means that nothing happened, that they were given a sugar pill or just imagined that you were better. But the placebo effect is a real and very powerful 
healing effect that happens whenever a person feels something has been done that can help them or make them feel better. The placebo effect is responsible for somewhere between 30 and 70% of all positive responses to treatment. The effect is so powerful that researchers try their best to eliminate the placebo effect by either A, making sure that the person who is getting the treatment doesn't know whether they're getting the real or sham placebo treatment, or B, making sure the person administering the treatment doesn't know whether they're administering the real or fictitious placebo treatment. Eliminating the placebo effect allows us to see the effects of the drug or intervention being studied. As doctors and patients, we should learn from this powerful mental effect in order to maximize our natural healing abilities. After all, if we can be fooled into getting better, then why wouldn't we learn to consciously turn on the body's healing systems? That's what the mind-body medicine and mind-body healing are all about. How to become skillful at working with the built-in healing system of the body, mind and spirit. It's very interesting. A better name for the placebo effect would be the mind-body healing effect. And luckily, we have already learned a fair amount about how to teach people to take advantage of it. Ah, I'm glad I read this. It's really good. If you want to read this, it's called... Um, the website's goop.com, g-o-o-p.com, forward slash wellness, forward slash mindfulness, forward slash how, dash, to, dash, quit, dash, worrying, dash, for, dash, good, dash and dash the dash power dash of dash the dash placebo dash effect I should get you there wow so the next question is a large part of your work focuses on how people handle stress why is that so important It has been estimated that uh, 60 to 90% of all visits to primary care doctors have a significant link to stress. Either the complaint is directly attributable to stress or to a behaviour that people adopt in order to manage stress, such as overeating eating junk food, drinking too much alcohol, smoking, using uppers or downers, and even exercise addiction. So I'm worried about that last one. That's why, I'm, that's why I worry about going to the gym. Don't want to get addicted. You know what I mean? The problem with managing stress in these ways is that over time they become toxic not only do they fail to manage the stress but they may lead to serious medical issues that make matters worse so this as an aside um, this is me now um, 
The only thing that I relate to on that one is drinking. So when I was working in call centre, selling insurance, the first job I had was, it was the best out of all of them. Like like as far as uh, selling goes. I did enjoy the second sales uh, insurance job when I was doing the listening to people's calls, like the compliance. But <clears throat> so I did the sales job, and it was a really good company. You know, there's it's, it's a, it's a big part of me who would love to go back in time and redo that part of my life because I was successful and I had a opportunity to become a success within the company you know but the anyway I, I was drinking every night to deal I didn't realise really but it was to deal with the stress of the job because I was working very hard I was working long hours averaging you know 12 hours a day at times Um sitting down you know staring at a computer screen selling car insurance and I was drinking every night and I was eating I was eating junk food but that was more because it was just easier not because I wanted just to eat crap but just because it was easier than cooking and Yeah, I got very ill with the stress. So, I've, I mean, I, I joked about having exercise addictions. You know, I've never ever had that. I've been to. I've, I used to go to the gym a lot when I was younger. I used to do a lot of martial arts and stuff. But I've never been addicted to it. Apart from when I was a kid, I was. I wasn't addicted. I was obsessed. It's a big difference, I think. I was obsessed with martial arts. Anything to do with martial arts. Kung Fu, Bruce Lee, every single martial arts movie I pretty much watched. I had books, magazines, everything on all styles of Kung Fu, karate, boxing, you know, you name it. Loved everything about it. Um, so that was my, my biggest thing that I... I've only had a few things I really, really, really loved in my life that I devoted huge amounts of time to. I think the first one was probably, I mean, devoting lots of time to, perhaps writing songs a little bit. I used to devote quite a bit of time to that. Like poems, writing songs, writing. When I was a kid, I used to love reading. But I suppose really the thing I loved most of all when I was a kid was watching television. I'll be honest with you, I absolutely loved television. It was among my favourite things. Um, But then when I got older, my main thing I think was the martial arts when I was a teenager. Absolutely loved that. And then when I... I went quite a few. I was really into selling. Two aspects of it. See, now we're back into normal mode of of uh, let me boy to sleep, aren't we? I'm now I'm going to really talk about myself, which is what I want to do. Really, I don't want to talk about anything else. I will go back to that article because it's very interesting. Plus, I'm learning something new. And it's good. And uh, that's what I want to do. I'm spending so much time asleep. I kind of realised that, you know, I'm... I need to start... I don't know what I need to start doing. I think if I'm going to be in bed... Then, during the day, then if I'm awake at night, I need to make that useful. So, and I do, at the moment, I I can't be bothered to watch television. But I do like watching television normally. I just, at the moment, I've lost interest in anything, really, at the moment. A lot of that kind of stuff. 
Um, but that's that's a separate thing. But I thought, you know what? I might as well sit here every evening from twelve to three. Do a let me bore you to sleep. Three hours of recording, live. Do it live. Yeah, no one's listening tonight. People will listen afterwards when it's, you know, uploaded. But then maybe someone will start coming along to my website, listening every day. Start, you know, and then eventually I'll have an audience and people will start um, not just listening afterwards, but listening during. But it doesn't matter if you're listening during or afterwards. It's... It makes no difference really it's just me just chatting it's the same really whichever way you look at it and it? it's I don't have earlier on there was one point when I was getting a little bit frustrated when I seemed to be uh, kind of just having pauses and thinking this has got to be really crap to listen to a lot more I know it's never going to be exciting and it will never it's not supposed to be but it was like particularly really bad radio it's like I've never like I've never recorded anything ever before and clearly I have hundreds and hundreds of times because of my past work I've been doing this for a long time but not live like this and what I need to do is forget it's live and just do my thing that's kind of what is needed I think so that's what I'm going to do and I will go back to that article because it's very interesting but I want to talk about me now it just reminded me of I went to the gym, but I, I went to the gym, did karate. Um, I did kickboxing first because this. And I told this story before at some point, but I don't know when. It might have been at Jason Chats, you know, ten years ago. So I'm not sure. But there was this American forces man. He worked in the on the docks in the forces. Uh, and he lived across the road from me, and his little he had a little boy, and who was probably probably about ten. I was probably about thirteen, fourteen, and the little kid knocked on my door, said, "Do you want to come and do some kickboxing?" I said, "I thought you meant with him." I said, "Ah, oh, you're a bit little." I was little for my age, but he was, you know, little, like a lot younger. He said, no, the other next door neighbor wants to learn to do kickboxing, but he needs someone the same size as him. So the kid next door, he was younger than me, but he was bigger than me. And so I said, yeah, why not? So we all went down to the gym, which was on the docks. All, kit, all kitted up it was like amazing really never been to a place like that um, and <laughs> you should have seen me I had I, I was covered in pads I had everything literally there was no way in the world I was going to get physically hurt apart from in my face because the you know you can still you know the, the, I had like a body body pad, leg pad, everything, shin pads, you know, it's amazing, and did a lot of stretching stuff before we started, and I ended up sparring with my next door neighbour, and I always got on a right with my next door neighbour, him and his brother, who was a year older than him, they were two of like, the toughest kids in school, but I was... They were my next door neighbours, so I'd known them for years. And we always got, I was not, 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 not best friends with them, but I always see them at school and chat with them and stuff. And um, they was always um, like the cool kids. They had BMXs before anyone else did. You know, I got BMXs when people would, you know, the people in my age group, 
when I got my BMX, they were driving around in cars. I was a bit slow, you know, on the on the burn. On the burn? Is that even a? That's not even a saying. How dare you? It's not real. It's not even a real thing. How can you say it's not on the burn? It doesn't make sense. Okay. I'm gonna get some of these. Uh, I'm gonna get some. Sa- I've actually got sound effects. Did you know that? I'm not gonna play them because they're probably annoying. But I've got some sound effects, and the thing is, because I'm live. As for Sebastian, when he listens. Uh, because I'm live, I uh, I don't know what I'm going to do if I need to go to the toilet. Because it'll just be... The term is dead air, isn't it? Something you should never do. You should never leave dead air on a radio show. But... What am I supposed to do? Because I'm not allowed to play music. I would love to play music. I would love to play 80s songs and 90s songs. I, I like mellow songs, generally. I'm not really into like fun. I do like some dance music, but I like calm, like love songs. and I'm eclectic. I like lots of different I'm a click dick. A click dick. A click dick. I like different things. So I'd like, but then it's kind of talk radio, but it's a little bit different, you know? It's, it's me. To be fair, there was, I, I listen to talk radio. It's one of my, f- things that I listen to called LBC um, you can get it you can actually get it online uh, listen to it anywhere in the world either live or they've got a podcast and everything got an app I listen to it on the app or on the TV um, and there's you know it's one of my favourite things to do now it's really weird because I used to listen to LBC the same radio show or the same radio channel uh, station while I walked to work in the early 90s so I'd be walking to work in 1992 and I'd have LBC radio station playing on my Walkman as I walked to work and they'd be like talking about the news and the, you know it was a, it was a it was a London based radio station it's not London based anymore officially but it is to be fair it's they still seem to focus on London a lot of the time but it's it's now kind of because they've got their app and I'm thinking of getting my app let me know what you think would it be easier to have an app because I used to have an app for the hypnotic buffet and I had a few people join and you know download it and then I I got a bit bored with doing the hypnotic buffets I thought well so it wasn't live, it was just, I liked doing them, but in the end I just didn't run out of steam, maybe just ran out of interest, which is possible that could happen with this, but how do you lose out of interest, lose interest in something that was uninteresting to start with? You can't, can you? It's a win-win. Anyone says, oh, this is really boring. It's supposed to be... I really enjoyed it. Thank you. You know, I can't, either way, I'm a winner. Unless, of course, no one listens. I'm going to open a can of Coke. I don't know what I would do if people stopped listening. I mean, I don't. Not all of my listeners listen to these recordings. The "Let Me Bore You to Sleep." You know, I've got other podcasts. Uh, so, so 
so I can't give all my attention to this, although I kind of want to. Does that make sense? I think a few of my, t- my a f- what's kind of turned my attention to this is some of the comments I've gotten from people. Uh, one was, I mentioned it yesterday, and let me have a quick look. Should be here. I'll open up my email and I'll read it to you. I read it yesterday, but I'll give you. Um, it was from. It was from. It was posted on my website. That's a good place actually. If you go to my website, it's actually it's from a bloke called Bob. And you can leave comments on there. So it's every day you can leave a comment. Well, not every day, but whenever you want, you can leave a comment telling me you know how you get on with what I do what you think and Bob said he said a few, he said lots of nice I won't read the whole thing out again because he's already I've already read it out yesterday he talked about listening to Art Bell for more than a decade and I went online uh, to, to search and I went on to uh, Wikipedia and they talked about him and I thought okay I need to listen to him. I need to see, hear what he sounds like. Very deep voice, deep. Um, very unlike me. I mean, I've got a. Well, I haven't got. A, I haven't got a high pitched. It's not a high pitched um, voice, but it's quite light. I think my voice when I'm kind of just normal this is me just talking normally I'm not I am talking kind of quietly that's part of the reason partly because of the time of the day it is it's you know it's quarter past one in the morning I'm not going to talk loudly uh, because of that but I don't have a deep voice Oh, excuse me, now I'm burping. Oh dear. Burping and farting. You guaranteed that whenever you listen to me. Listening to Art Bell, I went onto YouTube and listened to him. It's a very deep voice and he's, he was talking a lot about things. Um, What do you call it? What's, I don't know what the right word is. You know, we talk about UFOs and uh, cover-ups and things like that. Uh, according to Wikipedia, I didn't. You know, I haven't listened to lots of his stuff. And he was talking about being obsessed or absolutely loving something. This art bell he absolutely loved radio loved radio it was like what he wanted to do his whole life and even though he had to do other jobs to get by he still kept coming back to radio kept doing it because he loved it and uh, he there was a lot about him I'll, I'll read it to you actually I'll tell you about him because I'll come back to that in a minute. But basically, this this record, this um, message says, I've been streaming Bore Me uh, to Sleep on Spotify for several weeks now. Find your voice and random topics soothing and relaxing. Which is what I'm doing this for, hopefully. That's kind of was my... I didn't expect everybody to fall asleep listening to this. I'll be honest with you. You know, the let me boy to sleep, it started out being one thing and it's kind of progressed and developed into something else. Still with that in mind, still with the intention of offering that, but maybe more. And that's come about by the participation of other people and their interactions and um, also you 
you know, feedback generally, and as, as well as me having done, you know, a hundred over a hundred of these recordings. So, I, you know, it's pretty much over a hundred hours worth of of me talking. And if you do a hundred hours of something, you're going to be in a different place than where you were when you were 10 minutes in you know 100 hours is quite a lot of uh, yeah it's quite a lot of hours worth of chatting and stuff and this is kind of you know what I've, <laughs> this is what I've ended up with um so he says he likes his stories about my past life and stuff like that. Um, it's kind of like uh, I'm kind of like background sound, something to fall asleep to. Maybe not something to. F I say nothing can force you to go to sleep, and maybe I don't cause everyone to go to sleep to fall asleep. But maybe something nice to fall asleep too. There's something in the background, gently. Maybe you've got the volume down low. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe you can't even necessarily hear everything I'm saying. It's just... Maybe that's all you can hear. Andre. Fart. You know. So the, I've been told a few times with these recordings that let me bore you to sleep is, it's company. So for some people it's company. Some people it's um, a way to distract your mind when you're lying in bed or for whatever period of time you want to have that distraction so you listen to me gobble on about gobble on a turkey, I meant in a turkey kind of a way about stuff and I will, I'll talk about my stuff and I'll talk about stuff I see on the internet I'll talk about stuff for three hours every day and I'll repeat myself <laughs> constantly you think about it we're nearly halfway through the show it's not bad is it really you know there's a little bit stuttery a little bit uh, at the beginning but now now it's I suppose also realising that I, nobody's listening to this right now live Plenty of people will be listening to it afterwards. Some people might be thinking, what the hell? Three hours? It's a long time, isn't it? And, you know, if three hours is too long for people to listen, then I will perhaps stop doing the live stuff. Or, or maybe do a separate Let Me Boy You To Sleep and have this live thing separate, but... I don't think I could face doing that much in one day. Three hours is enough in one day, I think. Um, at least with this, is no editing. The only thing that's necessary is the turning it into a YouTube video, which will take hours and hours. to produce so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do there I have to figure out a way figure out a way around that but uh, that's okay there's no point worrying too much about that it's all good stuff isn't it really it's, it's, a, it's a good thing to be concerned about it's uh, so my friend said he's uh, sold his house and now 
he doesn't know, you know, he wants to buy a yacht, but he's not sure what, which yacht to buy. And he said, that's a good problem to have. You know, not, not sure which yacht to buy. Yeah, that is a good problem. And I wish him all the best for that as well, because he deserves it. Just looking at... It's a few different things. Uh... So we've had a few famous people passed away today or yesterday. Luke Perry, um, Keith Flint from The Prodigy. So yeah, it's been a one of those days where some famous people have left the world. I don't even know what day it is. What is it? It's Monday. So it's Tuesday today, Wednesday I've got an appointment with a psychiatrist. So I'm thinking of taking my recorder and just recording the in, recording what he says to me and maybe just play it to you. <laughs> um, just so you can hear the kind of, it's, it's, there's probably some kind of, it's probably morally wrong to do that actually. It's really un unkind, possibly, but I don't always feel like I'm being taken seriously, and I don't think I perhaps pre present myself in a way that that maybe the person in front of me thinks that I want to be taken seriously. I, don't know. I had it's a weird things when I went to the when I've I keep kind of saying not keep saying but I'll keep wanting to say when I first got ill but it isn't when I first got ill it's going back to 2013 14 or whatever I went to the doctors and got put on antidepressants and then I ended up going to see a psychiatrist and I got diagnosed with bipolar or was it 2000 no it's the end of 2011 and and then again I kind of went on some medication I was working medication made me tired so I just stopped the medication and uh, carried on with the antidepressants I think and I just carried on working and then I ended up, ended up getting a full-time job, and then I got ill, and, and all that stuff. Anyway, the there was a point to my story. Oh yeah, when I saw the f psychiatrists, I saw about three, and the first one I said that I saw, he said to me, "Oh, when I saw you in the waiting room, I thought you were." A professional doctor or something because you were wearing glasses what he said yeah and you dressed smartly what did I what did you expect me to turn up with a dead seagull on my head what 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 was I supposed to, t to turn up like what words or gummage and it's only good if you know who Wurzel Gummidge is, so Google it. Wurzel Gummidge. He used to be able to take his head off and put different heads on. So I think he had a head for mathematics. <laughs> and he was, in he was in love with Aunt Sally. And he talked like this. No, I don't know if he did. Oh, Aunt Sally. I love you, I love you, Aunt Sally. Oh, Marshall. Neither of them sounded correct. So, um, I, I think another one said to me that she thought that I might just be pretending to be unwell so as to get benefits so I could get benefits 
like, what? It's, I've had some, yeah, so I've had some quite strange. I think, and I have to be very careful how I word this. I think there are some people that become doctors and psychiatrists and they're, they have a background. They come from a background that doesn't believe in mental illness, doesn't really believe that it exists and they may, you know, they may be uh, more open to superstition, more open to if the person hears voices then it's a religious experience, it's not mental illness. Um, or if the person's, you may, there's some, some people, other cultures, some other cultures would perhaps class someone with schizophrenia as being possessed. So if someone from that background becomes a medical doctor or psychiatrist, how much of that stuff still stays in their head? Because belief systems are like so difficult to change. So difficult. I mean, I'm, my whole aim in life is to reduce as much of my belief systems as possible. Let as much of it go. Especially that there's a part of me which is sort of self-sabotaging and a part of me that doesn't doesn't believe that I deserve to be successful or I deserve to have any money or I deserve to be happy and all that stuff and that part has got in a way of so much and it's actually, it's funny because I'm seeing a therapist and I started two, two weeks ago, I'm seeing her again next week. And we're gonna focus on that. We're gonna focus on the, the inner, um, what's the word I just said? The, yeah, the kind of the tormentor, the, disbeliever, the, the thing trying to get in the way of me succeeding. And I've actually, I've put a few notices up on my, on my, around my flat. One is above the door, just as I look at it now, and it says, I deserve to be happy. And I know that I don't look at it every day, but I know it's there. And peripherally, I'm seeing it. I know that I'm seeing it. I might not be noticing it, but I'm seeing it, it's there. And um, I've got one just above my, the toilet roll holder in the bathroom. And it says, uh, wipe your ass. So yeah, it's always good to have, the, it doesn't, it says something positive, but I forget what it is. Something about, um, I can't remember what it says. I need to look at it really. But I can't because I'm here. I'm in the living room. I'm in my office. I'm in my studio. I'm in my my radio station. I don't I'm not had the ability to go and wander off all the way down the hallway to, you know, walk in for twenty minutes to get to the bathroom because I live in such a massive, massive building. I really don't. I don't, you know. I don't. So let me have a look. Again, I don't know if anybody has been listening to this at all. This at all. Oh, 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 oh. According to this, according to this, nobody, zero, zero of people are listening to this and 
I thought 12 till 3 would be a good time because is a, that's a time when people are probably, probably trying to get to sleep locally, you know, sort of UK time. But in America, it's late afternoon, early evening time. So it might be, you know, chill out kind of time for people. But, yeah, I'm not... I don't think anybody, not any, anybody at all has listened. Unless... Did I share it? Yeah, I did share it with Spreaker. Ah... If I click on that, that's why live now, oh, I don't know, I don't understand, so I should have put my, so no one's left a message, we're all on Twitter, so we've got boxing on, that's the April well, not whatever boxing's on this weekend. I think there is. I think it's um, Mikey Garcia's fighting on Saturday. So if that's on, I won't be doing this. But then, what's the point in doing this if no one's watching it anyway, eh? Although, technically, I could watch it and do this at the same time. Kind of, couldn't I? So let me just see. I must have had some people visiting my website. Right, I had four viewers today. Four viewers to my website. Three comments, one entry. So there's one on there now. Right, this second one for the day. So that doesn't make sense. So I've had 17, 17 visits to the website, 16 yesterday. But I've had 17 visit the since I set up. So there are there are people listening. I just it's not just registering yet which is slightly annoying. A little bit, a little bit annoying. Yeah, yes. Ah, and guess what? The fourth, because there's an overlay of the fourth and the fifth of March, because I don't know, it's a different time zone or something. So, ah, that's interesting. So I have had one live that's registered there on the 4th. Yeah. Ah. So there. Just shows you. Anyway, um, so I'm doing this kickboxing with my friend. Well, it's you know the kid next door, and I could just about see him through all the padding, and you know I had a head pad, head guard on, and. We were punching and kicking each other. It's, it was fun. I'd never done anything like that before, really. And the bloke, you know, the the neighbour who lived across the road who took us there, he was supporting the neighbour next door. Go on, Ronald. Smash his face in or something like that. Like I don't know if that Ronald was his name, but... I said, what? I was shocked. 
it's like he shouldn't be taking sides. Surely. You know, I was the neighbour too. You know, I was. The... Anyway, it's, it reminds me a little bit of when I used to. When I was at college, university, doing a counselling course, we used to meet up outside and go and, you know, meet up and have coffee or go out for drinks and stuff with each other occasionally. And tell me if this is weird, or this is not weird, but unusual behaviour. It was one person who didn't, she didn't do the, the third year because she's, she was already got loads of degrees. So she just did the second, the first two years, which was the diploma in counselling, person centred counselling. And uh, probably half of us went on and did the third year for the degree. And she met up with us also through the third year to, you know, for drinks and stuff. And on at least more than one occasion, she turned up with presents, like a present for one person. It wasn't their birthday, she just brought a gift for that person. But she made, she gave it to the person in front of everybody else. And I don't know, it just seemed wrong. I was like, where's my present? And I wouldn't, the thing is, I know that if it had been me that she was getting a present for, I'd have thought it was fine. I'd have enjoyed it and I'd have really gloated. No, I wouldn't. No, I probably still would have thought that's a bit weird to do that in front of other people. So, Human beings, us, ah, 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 can't get me head around them. Humans, supposed to learn how to behave, but how, how, devices. Right, so I'm just looking at the stats for yesterday. 84% is from mobile phones. 84.26% from all the podcasts are coming, the traffic's coming from mobile phones. Tablet, 6.23%. Others, 5.5%. Desktop, 3.63%. Smart speaker, 0.83%. Wow, the smart speaker was the um, Amazon Alexa. Imagine that. So mobile tablet, iOS, 62.40%. So that's um, Apple phone. Android, 35.87. Watch OS, 1.62. I don't know what that is. Fire OS, 0.10%. Desktop, oh, this is interesting. The majority of desktop is Mac, a MacBook. Um, so that's 34.32. Linux, I don't know what that is. Is Linux Android as well? I don't know. Windows, so that's Windows 23.39%. Sailfish OS, never heard of that, 5.51%. Chrome OS, I've got one of them, 0.42%. I thought Chromebook was going to be good, and I've got one, and I don't use it because it's not good. That's all I can say, it's not. The whole idea is for the Chromebook is they, it's about working on apps. And it's all about apps, it's all about, you know, but it doesn't, it doesn't replace a desktop, which, or not a desktop, like a laptop, which is what I was wanting it for. When my laptop broke, I used the 
Chromebook. And I could for some things. You still go online, the screen's very small, so it's limited. It is a touch screen, so that's good, you know, so it can be uh, doubled as a tablet. I don't think it comes apart, but it might do, I don't know. Some of them do, they come apart, don't they? But I'm not sure about that one. It just doesn't do what I needed it to do. So let's see the downloads of the different shows I've got. See, Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. That's actually the biggest... Yeah, that's the biggest audience out of all of them I've got. Uh, it's 15,289 downloads and 763 downloads so that's deep sleep whisper but just below that is the hypnosis for sleep pin deeply which is a similar kind of title but that's that's all of the the insomnia recordings i've done so that's 12,870 downloads 1,729 plays and next on the list is Sleep Hypnosis Weekly. And that was just a seven day course I did. 7,314 downloads, 132 plays. And I think the next one is Let Me Bore You to Sleep is 5,847 downloads, 1,478 plays. So they're the top podcasts, like as far as plays go. And altogether, I think this is only since what, December, November, December? Let's have a look, let's just check. Um, I just want to see when it first, when it started. Um, plays. Custom, plays and downloads. Right, when are the first? Right, 12th of November. Yeah, 12th of, so since the 12th of November. So how long is that? 12th of November, 12th of December, 12th of January, 12th of February, 12th of March. So it's it's not even four months. So altogether, in that time, on these podcasts, I've had 65,551 total downloads and 9,090 total plays on this podcast. And the SoundCloud one, I kind of re redid that again, because I did deleted it, then added it again. I had 57,445 plays in total. And I worked out the stats for last month. So January I got 26,258 um, downloads and plays from Spreaker podcasts. And February last month I got 31,534 downloads and plays mixed together. So that's about 5,000 added on. So if that's correct, I should have another 50,000 added on to that by the end of the year. So 50, 60, 70, 80, over, I reckon probably over 100,000 a month by the end of the year. But what I need is 100,000 a week. No, 100,000 a day, really. That's really what I need in order to uh, make this kind of successful. 
but we'll see. We will see. We will see. Maybe it's too late in the evening. Do you think that might be the case? It might just be like, oh, it's too late, mate. Can't you do like a different time? Like morning time or evening time? Like, you know, like I, I can't do it early in the morning. Although it, this is early in the morning, but I can't do it. Um, yeah, I can't. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I just get kind of today I had ten four I don't know I'd like to I want to get a system a regular system going And then it could be so amazing that a radio station says, Hey, JJ, come work for us. Here's some good, good groovy money to come and work for us. And I say, Yeah, groovy money. I'll come and work for you. I say, why are you mocking the way I'm talking? I don't like that. I've changed my mind. You're not, you're not allowed to work for us. You made fun of the way I talk. And I said, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make the way, make fun of the way you talk. I just thought it'd be really good to try and maybe build some kind of rapport with you. And he said, oh, perhaps we'll just have a kiss and a cuddle and make up. And I said, no, don't really fancy that, thanks. But can I have the job anyway? And he said, no. I said, why not? He said, because you've rejected my advances and I thought we were getting on so well, but you clearly have different, you know, opinions of me, and I feel rejected and pushed away. And I said, don't feel that way. And he said, why? I said, so that I can have the job. He said, so you want me to change the way I actually naturally feel and push those natural feelings aside so that I can then just give you the job? And I said, yeah, that's a great idea. He said, no. I said, why not? He said, because... This doesn't feel right anymore. I said, but it, it just does feel right to me. He said, but it doesn't feel right to me though. I said, please. He said, no. I said, please, please, can I have a job? He said, no, you can't. You can't have a job. I said, please, though. He said, no, though. I said, no, though. I said, well, what's wrong with that? Doesn't really, it's not really a sentence, is it? Well, neither is please, though. I suppose, though. You're mocking me again, aren't you? Oh, I'm not. I just want the job. Well, you can't have the job now. Why not? Because I'm going to give it to someone else. 
But I don't want you to give it to someone else. I want you to give it to me. Well, you had your chance. What do you mean? I had my chance. Well, you could have had a cuddle. You could have had a cuddle. But you said no. But I don't I have a choice about those things. We're living in 2019. I have a choice about who I cuddle. Don't you mean 2019? No, 2019. Why do you say it like that? Why don't you say 2019 like every other person? Not every other person says 2019. I know people and I've heard people. I heard someone on the television say 2019 or 2019 rather. Oh, oh you made a mistake then. You said 2019. You made a mistake. You were trying to be clever but you, you fiddled up. You fiddled up. You tripped up over your own tongue. What do you mean tripped up over my own tongue? If, I, my, if my tongue was trip, long enough to trip over, I wouldn't be single, would I? That's a very good point. Yes, I thought so. That was almost clever. Oh, thank you very much. You're almost welcome. Oh, you're almost welcome as well. Oh, oh, back at you. Well, goodbye then. Well, wait a minute. What? Aren't you going to give me that job? No, we've been over this. There is no job anymore. It's gone. But I want the job. How much do you want it? Not that much. Well, goodbye then. Goodbye back at you. That doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense either. Me saying it doesn't make sense does make sense. You're right, but at least I like strawberries. What? I said I like strawberries. I, I know what you said, but why did you say it? It just felt right. You know, sometimes when something just feels right. No, I really don't. And I don't think I want to. Thank you very much. I don't think I can continue this conversation any longer. Why not? Because it's really silly. You're silly. You wear shoes on your ears. I don't wear shoes on my ears. What a ridiculous thing to say. You carry around carrier bags filled with carrier bags. Mm. I sometimes carry carrier bags filled with carrier bags, but only when I'm going somewhere where I might need carrier bags. Just shows you though, doesn't it? What? What does it show me? Just shows you that. That's what it shows you. What is that? I don't understand what you're saying. True that. At least I don't wear braces. 
Neither do I. I don't wear braces either. Do you mean neither? When you said that, did you mean neither or either? Neither or neither? I don't care. I'm not taking elocution lessons from someone like you. Oh, what did you mean by that? Someone like me. You know very well what I meant. I really don't. Me neither. What did you say it for then? I'm just trying to find a way out of this conversation. But I don't know a way out. In me as well, actually. I was just thinking that. How can I get back to talking about stats and things like that? I don't know if you should, really. It's a bit boring, isn't it? Yeah, it's supposed to be boring. This is a let me bore you to sleep. Not supposed to be exciting. I know, but isn't there a difference between being bored and tedious stuff? I don't know, but I think Andre's going to fart. How can you tell? Oh, that was very intuitive of you. I know, it's just sometimes you, you just, it's the look in his eyes, it's the, it's the look, can you open the window please, yeah I was just thinking the same thing, alright then, always run off now, well nice chatting to you, um, so when do I start the job then? Okay, you can start Monday. All right, thank you. Love you. You too. Bye. Have a lovely weekend. Don't forget to wear your wellies on Saturday because it's supposed to be very rainy. And you don't want to get your socks wet. Oh, thank you. Bye. Ta-ra. Andre's just laid down on the floor. His eyes are half open. He's looking at me now because he knows I'm talking about him. He's just lying there. I think he'd probably be quite happy for me to put him to bed. I don't know if he's a little bit fidgety. Oh. So let me see what's the top listeners on my SoundCloud Herlander, Rosemilk, Tyler, Stephen, Alan, Wallinka. That was yesterday's stats. Top countries for yesterday, United States, Germany, United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, Portugal, Hungary, India, Argentina, France, Port Puerto, Puerto Rico, New Zealand, Russian Federation, Ireland, Romania, Mexico, Ukraine. And what's the top cities for yesterday's stats? This is for SoundCloud, a SoundCloud podcast. Prospect in Australia. Not heard of that town, I don't think. Castelo Branco in Portugal. McMinnville, OR, United States. Arlington, VA. 